After this crazy new twist, things just got significantly worse for the horrifically woke Velma show that just dropped on HBO Max, and now they just got hit with this very, very bad news that we're going to be getting into, so this whole thing is completely falling apart for HBO Max, as this is shaping up to be one of the worst shows ever for the streaming site. So, we have the, we finally got the Rotten Tomatoes score in from audiences for the show, and as you see here, it currently sits at 11% run from audiences. That is absolutely horrendous. And like I says, this this places it as one of the worst shows ever, if not the worst show ever, to be rated on HBO Max. And even from critics, it currently sits at 50% rotten. This is a complete disaster in every way, shape, and form for Warner Brothers, for HBO Max. And I mean, I, I could have told them that this was going to happen, but, you know, this is what happens when you continue to go woke with, you know, especially with properties that already exist. So we got the trailer yesterday as well, and the trailer got completely destroyed. It currently sits at 159,000 downvotes compared to 7,000 thousand upvotes and they turned off the comments after the amount of backlash that they were receiving and it doesn't really surprise me when you get things like this in the trailer yes that is <laughs> that is velma twerking in the trailer it's just she hulk all over again apparently but we have uh the daily beast which is one surprisingly one of the only mainstream media sites that is actually defending the show where they say gay and raunchy velma series hilariously reinvents scooby-doo for adults so i mean that pretty much summarizes everything that you need to know about the show and who the target audience is for the show it is not people like you and i it is the, the woke whales on Twitter that this show is supposed to be appealing to, and that's about it. So, Velma Review, HBO Max's edgy, gratuitous animated series goes horribly wrong, and I couldn't have said it better than myself. But, we also got this coming from Mindy Cowling, who is voicing Velma for the show, and uh, she decided to, to say this, which just completely just floored me, <laughs> why she thought this would be a good idea. It started with Mindy saying, I'm voicing Velma. What makes most sense? What Mindy was attracted to in the character and what I loved was the smartest of the gang that solved the mysteries got no credit. Going from that, why not just expand the diversity of the cast? Kal Kaling also stressed how much they appreciated the original Scooby-Doo cartoons, but followed up with a but. So already just completely dismissing the fact that they didn't really actually appreciate the original cartoons, but argued that the cast just needed to be more diverse to better reflect how society and television have changed the decades since Scooby-Doo Where Are You first aired in 1969. This is absolutely just so stupid. So ridiculous in every way, shape, and form. The original Scooby-Doo, which we're such a fan of, <laughs> lying right through their teeth, is also really rooted in another era and reflective of the cultural landscape of the 60s and the 70s and what people traditionally put on TV. It just felt like if we can have the characters be anything, why not do something new? Why not just create your own original show? Why not just create your own original characters if that really means so much to you? But of course, these people continue to lie all the time about this. They continue to pretend that they're fans of this type of stuff. We got the same thing with Rings of Power as well, with the showrunners pretending that they were huge fans of Tolkien's work, when really, all they wanted to do was reinvent Tolkien. That's all they wanted to do. They wanted to completely uproot everything about Tolkien, uproot his legacy, and recreate it in their image and completely wokeify the world of Middle Earth. That is exactly what they're doing here as well with Scooby-Doo, and it is what they're going to continue to do in Hollywood with all of the different properties that we love. So, with all of that being said, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. What do you think about all the insanity and all of the backlash that this show is currently receiving, which it completely deserves. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.